Hi, it's Trisha from East Bar Shakers, and today uh, we are going to make some raised beds for um, having small little gardens that are close to the house. So for herbs and lettuces, that sort of thing that you're going to grab from the house. So in the not rules of permaculture, but uh, permaculture uh, ways of doing things. Having a kind of a kitchen garden close to the house in zone one to uh, So that's what we're going to make is uh, in, in the back here uh, two raised beds um, And what's going to go in between and we're going to put a trellis of um, Cattle panel between the the two raised beds and we're gonna have grapes growing up up them um, from the ground from the ground up and uh, yes, yeah, so we have a couple of grapes that we've had growing for a couple of years by the shed, but it's not the greatest place, but it was a place to put them at this point in time. So until we're doing this, so we're ready for that. And uh, yeah, so we're using mainly cedar, uh, well, all cedar for the raised beds that will uh, winter well, water wise and so on. So. Very pretty simple. We're taking four by fours, um, cutting them in two foot sections for the corners in the middle, and then then putting the outside um, of uh, one by sixes, and as the outside, so it's going to be eight feet long, and then cut the boards in half, so it's going to be four feet wide um, on each side. So eight by four, pretty much, and. Uh, and two feet high. So pretty simple. Um, so watch us as we should be quick. Do this. Okay. Yeah, hopefully.
Roland from Eastmar Shakers and I'm just wrapping up project for today and I'm just showing where the raised beds are going to go. They're going to go in this area and I'm going to put the uh, have to put the side to it uh, to open up the space a little bit and laundry got caught in the rain so it's gone through another rinse and it will stay as dry until tomorrow. Um, here's the uh, the first bed uh, four by eight standing on its side. Uh, this is the top that you're looking at and here's the bottom and we'll sink it into the ground by a couple of inches so that's what these are designed to do so that it's not going to move and uh, fill it up um, first with sticks and uh, branches of trees I've got lots that I cut down over the winter over there um, we'll put them in and they will reduce to uh, compost eventually um, over top of that we'll put additional layers of compost and then topsoil uh, towards the top and here is the other raised bed um, so we've got two done and uh, that's as much as we are planning on doing and so hopefully uh, they're going to uh, allow us to raise lots of vegetables for the car for the kitchen uh, so it becomes a kitchen garden as uh, Patricia actually described earlier All right uh, so that wraps it up for today. Uh, tomorrow, uh, it looks like I'm going to be spending some time in the hoop house. Um, peppers are coming along and tomatoes are ripening. So talk to you soon.